part of our mandate is what we call environmental governance. If you mm -hmm. look at our... Indeed. Uh, yes, environmental governance is part of our mandate. Um, and, and for Ghana, uh, our big environment issue is really Galamzee. And we've, we are watching it get worse and worse and worse. Mm. And what is really making me excited today, in the last week, and hopefully in the weeks to come, is how citizens have taken charge of the situation. Because this is how the democracy is supposed to work. Is it really citizens or is it just people who are far away from these places no, where the gold no. is? No. Are you saying that the people who are members of TUC don't have relatives in Galamzee? Are you saying that uh, the, the people who other professional groups... I mean... We shouldn't talk as I mean, but I'm but I'm saying yeah. that the people who are involved in Galamse, mm -hmm. uh, they are not making that call. They feel that it is their best right to reach the gold. It is their economic mm -hmm. freedom mm -hmm. to reach the gold, which is true to an extent. Gold, the idea of mining, is not a bad idea. We've been mining gold on this blessed land for over five hundred years, and there's still more. So mining itself is not the mining of it. It is the way you are mining that's the problem. There's legal mining. Mm -hmm. There's legal mining that we are all familiar with. There's artisanal mining mm -hmm. that is legal. Where community mining, where people in the community have every right. Mining should not be just about giving concessions to international companies. The people of the land have every right to benefit from the gold that the land produces. But there is a process to it. You don't just get up one day, get your hands on some mercury and pour it into the river. You cannot do that. You cannot do that. That is a crime. That's got nothing to do with mining. That is a criminal activity that must be dealt with as a crime. I see. But I mean, so who is to blame then for where we, ha we find ourselves today? It's not. So let me, let's take this step by step. Okay. Right? What I'm saying is that I'm happy that big organizations like TUC, like the big professional bodies, are speaking about this are reason that we shouldn't discount that as nothing we should never discount that that mm -hmm. is important that is the people raising their voice that is representatives of the people raising their voice look if you work in if you are a member of TUC and you work in the public sector do you know how many lives every public sector salary touches every person who is paid in the public sector most people the salary touches many people beyond their immediate family True? Mm -hmm. So don't think that uh, these people are just talking. They, everybody in Ghana is connected to the Galamsee one way or the other. If it's not happening in your community, it's happening in another community. Even if it is not happening in any community you come from, to the extent that they are poisoning the source of water for all of us, you are also affected. So it is not really true that, oh, it is only people who are sitting in the city who know, who have a problem with it. We all have a problem with it. Recently, you saw there was a place in the eastern region. They came yes, together. Yes, the community. Yes, they chased the people away. So the, it's not that the awareness is not there. It's just that sometimes people feel, uh, people don't feel but it's, empowered. It's, it's taking quite a bit for that awareness. It doesn't to, matter. It's happening come. now. It's better late than ever. It's happening now. And we just need to build this momentum and not lose it. We have to keep the momentum and not lose it. More communities have to stand. The leaders, the traditional authority, and the people of the committee must stand and say, no, we are not doing this. Will this go anywhere when we hear that the people who are supposed to lead us are mm -hmm. themselves engaged in this? But the people who are supposed to lead us, who made them leaders? Who made them? We made them leaders. We cannot make them leaders. We can ensure that whoever is leading us will do what we want them to do. I we see. have not used our power properly. Look, I keep, when you say that people say, what's the point of leadership? It's true. Ideally. You must have a certain type of leadership whereby, you know, things don't go so way out of hand. But if that does not, if that does not happen, it doesn't mean that we, the citizens, must just sit, sit down and watch. What we are doing now is very important. You know, please, media, let's not discount it. Mm. Let's not always look at the negative side, oh, but this didn't work. That No, we are doing something now. Well, we're also comparing to history mm -hmm. and the fact that we have seen a lot of agitations. Mm -hmm. uh, many of them have not worked. A couple of them have. Yes. But many of them haven't well, worked. I'm glad you said and, a couple and, of them have. And mm -hmm. in the case of Galamse, mm -hmm. when we know that certain things have happened under this administration mm -hmm. for Galamse to have been nipped in the back, mm -hmm. but it didn't 
happen. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it creates a certain condition to not trust that the agitations mm -hmm. we are seeing today mm -hmm. uh, will yield any positive results. Mm -hmm. I wonder why you are so positive about it. I'm so positive because I believe in people action. I'm a strong believer in that. And I know that politicians, I keep telling you, are rational people. Mm -hmm. And they will do what the people want them to do because they want votes. Mm 